Welcome to this video. Today we're gonna talk about chatbots. Again, I will show you how you can make your own chatbot. If you're interested in this type of building chatbots, I will post a link below so you can build your own chatbot. This is actually very easy as you will see now in this video. We're gonna build together a chatbot that is able to give answers to all your questions in a specific topic. I will also show you how you can deploy this to Alexa. In this video, we will talk about the basic things. In some other videos I will do about the topic, I will show you how to deploy it to Alexa, how to download it as a development app on your Alexa phone or on your Alexa app on your phone. In this video, we're gonna look at how we're gonna build the infrastructure behind it. So I have already built a bot. And some of you may know Eckhart Tolle, which is a spiritual teacher. You see here on my screen that I have built a bot, which is called Eckhart Tolle. If I click on the bot, one thing that is important always if you build a bot is you have to tell the bot what it is all about. So you need to tell about something like you are a Catholic spiritual teacher guide. Your role is to assist individuals in finding clarity, peace, so on. So you have to let the bot know what its role is. You can do this here in the prompt section. Also in the restriction section, you have got the opportunity to restrict. So in this case, I put, there's a mistake as you can see, feel free to share information about yourself. Keep answers short without justifications. Do not say, how can I assist you today? Or similar things. Talk like a friend. So you can really modify this. You have to test a little to find out actually how the bot works. Then we have the training section here. The training section is the most important thing to recognize in the bot because you have to give the bot a lot of training data. The more training data you give to the bot, the better. To do this in a good way, so you see here I have trained the bot already on the full audiobook on YouTube videos I have collected on the website. To do this, the best thing you can do is to go to the embedding here. In the embedding, I created new embeddings. In this case, I did scrape, so I just went over, we can click on that, I just went over, went to Eckhart Tolle's website. You can just simply copy the URL. Then you would go back into the bot. Just simply copy the URL of the website in here. If this extract URLs is active, it will extract some other URLs. You just click on scrape. I have done that already. I scraped all the websites from Eckhart Tolle's website. They are now embedded or they are now already in this embedding. The bot is trained already with that. What I've also done is YouTube videos. The source, the most information that my bot has got are out of YouTube videos. As you see, there are many YouTube videos down here. What you can do is you just go to YouTube, you type in in the top Eckhart Tolle or whatever person you want to train. Tolle, as you see here, then you take the first video, you go to Eckhart Tolle's channel. Of course, you need to embed certain kind of videos. But if I would just take here the first one, I would just click on it, pause it Most before it your... plays. Then I just simply take the URL, will go back to my bot. Then I go down here from YouTube video, paste in the URL, say scrape. Maybe I have uh, scraped that already. We see it in a second here, it's starting to embed it's completed. So now this knowledge of YouTube is inside. Then what else have I done? I have also used the full ebook that I found on YouTube. I think I embedded that. I have also embedded some text documents that are found on script or wherever you find them on the web. Maybe you have them already. You can embed also transcripts, stuff like that. So the opportunity here, as you see, you can upload files, text files, PDF files. You can even type in text from question and answer sections, from a web page, from YouTube videos. This is the options we have at the moment. 
you can even go ahead here, search for some stuff, search answer where we can say, where did you grow up? For example, we can see if the answer is in documents. Went to Russia a couple of years. Here you should find the answer, tell you actually where the answers are coming from. So there's a lot of answers. There's also like the playground. If you know anything about ChatGPT, you know that here you can actually play around a little, check if the answers are okay or not. Then there is a setting section. Before you do actually the training, the embedding, you need to put your OpenAI key over here, which you will find in your OpenAI account. Just save it. You can give it a name. You can put a logo. You can add collaborators depending on the plan you have. Then you can go back to the chatbot. We will look at some more sections here. So we have been doing it till the training. Then here the capture section is very interesting because you can see all the conversations basically that have been captured. If I click on one of them, you can see that actually all the conversations are in here that I tried to do. If you don't like the conversation or the answer that the bot gave, for example, hi Eckert, how are you? I said, hello, I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? Is there something specific, blah, blah, blah. So I could just, if I don't like that, I could just click here on the pen. It will tell me I can retrain the bot. So here's the question, original answer. I could type in my answer that I imagine that would be better. In the next conversation, this answer would actually be used. This is actually very powerful, as you can imagine, because then I can fine tune the bot as well. So if I go back to the bot one more time, we have seen now the capture, the conversations is almost the same. It's structured in a little different way. You have API keys that you can use to embed. You can actually use these APIs to embed it like in voice flow or bot press or wherever you want to embed this kind of things. You can publish the bots very easily. So the easiest way to publish is, of course, to publish it just on the website. It will look like that. You have this website widget where you can just embed here. You can have a pop-up. You can also recognize a specific user using the user ID. You can put it in an iframe. You can do it in a widget. You can also just use a specific thread. So it's very easy to publish on a website. I will show you that in a second. You have a nice image here. Here you have integrations at the moment. WhatsApp, it's very easy to integrate in WhatsApp, very easy to integrate in Telegram, also Twilio Messenger. You can just click on it. It will show you how to integrate it. Then we have some more settings here. This is just about, we could upload another bot avatar. We could pick the model, ChatGPT model to use. There's also other models. You could use the cloud model. As you see here, other GPT models. Then what we can do is we go down here, say the temperature. The temperature is very important. The higher the temperature is, the more likely it's hallucinating. So I set it to a very low point, which is 0 0.1. So it should give us very good information. You can limit your bots. This is especially important if you give this to customers or if you give it to somebody to use, you could limit the token that it can use, then you have the opportunity to also put in your custom domain. So this is really a great backend. I use this basically to train or to build up the bot in the background. You can already use it to put it on your website. So you could just go ahead here. I click on the bot again. I share it. I've copied the link, just paste it in into my browser. This would already be the bot. So if I type in here, if I type in, hi, Eckhart, how are you? He will reply to me. We will do some interesting things with Eckhart, talking to Eckhart, because I can also ask him for more details. But for example, if you say, where did you grow up? It should know 
I grew up in a small city in Austria called Innsbruck. It was a beautiful place surrounded by nature. But of course, we have been making this spot as a spiritual teacher. But what I've done is I know a Catholic quite well. So I have tried to pull out personal information. I have tried how far can I go with personal questions? How much does he know? Because even here we can ask, do you have a pet? I didn't know that about Eckert, but it seems he has a dog. His name is Max. He brings so much joy into my life. So I'm not so sure about that, how much this is true. I think he has got a, a dog. Of some of the other conversations, I think he gave me a different name, but I'm not so sure about it. It could be true. As I mentioned, the purpose of this spot would be if you need some help. So I was, could say, how can I become more happy, for example, he will actually tell you. To become more happy, start by accepting the present moment. So Eckhart Tolle is all about the present moment or the, the moment, being in the moment, because this moment is all we have. This is why I built the bot, but it's even better if you can talk to the bot. This is just the simplest way to embed this on your website. What you can do is, like I showed with the API, the next easiest step or the next step that you can use, which is also very easy, is to use these integrations. What you can also do is, like I showed you before, you can simply integrate this on Telegram. I did some tests already. So you see, it's just simply integrated here. I ask certain questions to Eckhart. It works the same way, but it's just integrated into Telegram in a very easy way. You can do that with WhatsApp as well. Other channels like Twilio, you can do the SMS thing and so on. Another thing I want to show you is if you're a little more advanced is to integrate your bot with VoiceFlow, then with VoiceFlow integrated to Alexa. We will do this in another video, but I will just show you the first steps of it. So what I've done here is I built in VoiceFlow one step. So this is an easy step. I just said here, let me zoom it in a little for you if that works. So I just asked Eckhart here or said, welcome. Hi, I'm Eckhart Tolle, spiritual teacher and guide. Feel free to ask me any question. If I click on it, you will see this is just done with Alexa. I just made it a little slow. I used this method voice. So it sounds like that. A spiritual, a spiritual teacher, teacher and guide. guide. Feel free to ask me any question. It doesn't really uh, sound very original or whatever. You could clone the voice, use the cloned voice and so on. But this is just to give you an idea what you can actually do with it. Then what I did is I connected it to the Eckhart Tolle bot using the API, as you see here. Then it goes to the output, the input. So if it knows an answer, it will come back, have basically a loop. If it doesn't know an answer, it will say, please try again. In the next video, you have to see this video because I will show you how to, with one click, publish it to Alexa. Then, let me see if I can find it on my phone. Then in the next step, we're going to publish it to Amazon, to Alexa. So if you see on my phone, if you can see that, I pushed this app to Alexa. From now on, I can talk to it. We will do some test talking to Eckhart back forward. We will even do an interview. So we will have Eckhart on a webcam talking to me. I will talk to Eckhart asking some questions. So I hope this video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below. I subscribe. Watch my next video if you want to see how this journey continues. Thanks for watching. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.